Hi, I am Messi Patrick. I am a writer, a spoken word artist, a rapper, a video editor, and a photographer. Now, um, writing has always been the first love of mine, and then came along photography and every other thing. But trust me, photography has been my absolute best. And I have been doing this for a while now, starting from my smallest camera phone. I started from my Nokia C3 to my Asia 200, and going through the Android phone. And now I am still that creative mobile photographer. You see, the truth is, I love to capture essence and people and things. Abstract photography is my number one thing. This is going to be a very exciting experience here on Yan. And I am enjoying my stay at home segment. You can follow me on social media, Mercerik, that is M E R C I R I C K. And you find me there. Well, this happened last year in December when. Um, we were at a rehearsal at a boot camp. By the way, I am a proud ambassador of Street Project Foundation. Um, it's um, an NGO that helps youth like me be the best they can be, be creative and go further in life. So we're at a, a rehearsal, a dance rehearsal actually. And um, during our dance rehearsal, we're there so busy and a guest walked into the hall. We didn't really know who it was. We didn't even realize the guest had entered the hall. And once we had done the dance rehearsal, our founder, Mrs. Rita Izenwa Okuru, she just pointed to me, well, well then, she pointed to me, I was like, you, come out, perform. And she said, this is your audience, perform. And can you just guess who that guest was? Okay, you can guess, let me just, let me just give it to you. That was DK Chuku Merije. And I had to just conjure a spoken word right at the spot and I performed it and it felt very good. But at first I was a bit nervous, I won't lie, but um, it came out fine. It was, it was so good that he commended me and they all said it was nice. And it was, it, it was a very emotional experience for me because I didn't see me doing that, performing my art in front of someone so high up on the ladder. And that day it was so good. And I realized that we had to be ready For the dough. If you had to roll, would you pray before you go? If you could atone, would you stick up to the bros who would rough you up a bit and then the muff you as they go? They never get it right because each time it's like a prophecy. When I speak the truth, they say I'm speaking like a prophet. See, gentle as a lamb, but deep down, it's a mess you see. Don't know if it's safe to have you locked up in the cell with me. It's a battle every time I try to level up on this dream. They say I'm living high, level up on all this ecstasy. Yeah, I'm living high from the book of Esther C. Now I speak the word and then the feel it so incredibly. And I'm lost in my mind, wondering where else to hide. Didn't they say it was safe for me to be locked up inside? And now I hide from myself, no telling why else I cry. And it's a lie, even all the things I try to deny. So it's a pericle that I can't even try to deny. The fact that I can't deny to speak the truth out of my mind. But when you look at me, the only thing you see is a lie. I can't be telling your mind the things to see or deny. I can't be doing when this thing, when it's my life on the line, you know it's sick when we we'll always wanna jump off the line for that person who would never know why we're on the line. But it's safe in my mind to the point I can't fly. Well, I'm the one and only ghost in the story of mine. I'm just a memory that you knew. Best keep that memory alive. And it's in my mind where I'm lost. There is no place to hide. I'm just a feeling, paint this picture, and I paint it alive. I wish I could get me a plane, a genie, or a wish to go back to a place that's much simpler than this. Avoiding all the crisis, avoiding all the clashes, avoiding all the racists, avoiding all the rapists, man. This and out. I hope you really enjoyed the session with me, Onyan. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. There is more to come.